Hello everybody, this is Yoko's Band of Anime Reactions, and this is going to be my review for Akatsuki no Yona, episode 20. Oh boy, this episode... Essentially, we find out that Yon Kuji, however you pronounce his name, is a human trafficker. Probably the worst kind of criminal, in my opinion. Obviously, murderers and all that are high on the list, but a human trafficker is really higher on the list. And he only targets young women. Young, pretty women. And we found out from a girl who was essentially posing as a guy that she and her friend had gone to a store to get work and her friend was taken. Thankfully she managed to get away and in this instance Yona figured out what a pervert was. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't laugh but it was a serious situation. Anyway, they are trying to figure out how to uh, get on the ship to get the girls out because they're gonna have they're gonna try and trade with another kingdom I don't remember what the name of the kingdom was right off the top of my head but what I thought would happen actually happens Yona decides to go in impersonating a woman trying to get work and get captured so she can light the firecracker from the inside or on the ship and alert the others to where the girls are so they can get them out. Obviously everybody is against her doing this which I do not blame them one bit because who knows what those men do to those women while they have them. They could force themselves on the girls and they wouldn't know until Yona's in that situation. And that's not good. And everybody knows this. They know that things could happen to the girls before they get sold. And they don't want to, obviously don't want to take that chance with Yona. And so, Yoon decides he's going to dress up as a girl and go with her. And... Yeah, he actually looks decent as a girl. The other guys try to <laughs> go as well, dressed as girls, but they don't literally look the part. Oh god. I kinda don't blame them for wanting to do- To do that considering... Yeah, how much danger Yona's gonna be in. Cause like I said, we don't know what the men do to the women before they get sold. It could be as harmless as them getting stuck in the dang hold of the ship until they get sold. Or it could be the worst where the girls get uh, raped and sold into slavery that way. Here's hoping it's the former on this one, though I actually know how this goes, obviously since I've re finished recording for the show. And after they make this decision, Hawk obviously tries to talk Yona out of it because he obviously doesn't want her to be put in danger like that. And like I said, I really don't blame him, especially considering how his feelings have been trying to come out lately. Like in last episode, for example. Anyway, they end up going in and part, uh, as bait. It works. And they get captured just like everybody else, all the other girls did. Oh, and before that happens though, uh, Yona ends up talking with the captain of the ship and ends up forming like a surrogate, uh, mother figure bond with her. Which is good considering she hasn't had that kind of, uh, influence in her life since her mother died at a young age. So it's good that she's able to have that form of bond with somebody. Anyway, I'll try, like I said, I'll try and get the rest done today. If I can't, I'll, I'll finish it tomorrow. 
Anyway, for all my new subscribers out there, I thank you so much for subscribing. I hope you find something you enjoy on my channel. If not, then I wouldn't blame you for not subs for unsubscribing, you know, because why would you subscribe to somebody who you don't want to watch anything of? Anyway, I will see you guys next time.